So I'm here today with Dr. Harry Rosen. Thank you so much for coming out. Good day. Pleased Th to be here. <laughs> that's his sculpture that he's donating to the city of Cote St. Luke, and it's titled Reliance. And you know, in municipal government, that's exactly what we do. We rely on our volunteers and our workers and our elected officials and our residents to build a great community. And you're making it greater with this donation. I always felt that we humans are social animals and we always need each other and rely on each other. We don't live alone. So whether it's me relying on you or me relying on a community or communities relying on each other, we all need each other. So this is one of the examples of a sculpture that conveys that message, or I try to convey that message as much as possible. An artist tries to convey a message, he or she don't always know the message is being conveyed. So the public really become the critics of the artist. So the artist takes on a tremendous responsibility in providing the sculpture to a community where it's outdoors. Because in the outdoors, every person that goes by can become a critic, and which is quite acceptable. So one, I think my art should beautify, number one. It certainly does. When I came out here, why this place, not another place? I've been to many places, you know, of learning. I've been to many places, libraries as such, and Libraries didn't always look as beautiful on the outside as this. So I said, well, Harry, you want to donate a sculpture to the library. That's one tremendous challenge because this place is already beautiful. The library has been known to be effective. So I say, you're starting out with a gem. How can you improve on a gem? And that's a tremendous responsibility. And this is what we ended up with ultimately. Well, it's a great location. It's right here in Ashkelon Gardens where we have a lot of events and people just come out here to sit and enjoy. And this is making it even more beautiful. So thank you. Thank you well, so much. So tell me, when did you start doing art? Oh, I started doing art going way back. When I started doing dentistry, I started doing art at the same time. And art was uh, how I kept myself busy on weekends. We had a country place up north. I want our kids to grow up in a beautiful country place that we could afford at the time. I bought a small property and I reconstructed the, the property with components that were already there. I pulled rocks out of the lake and created all kinds of walls and terraces. I made compositions of trees and rocks. And in doing so, I enhanced the whole environment without bringing any, bringing any components in from the outside. If you look at these, the sculpture, I found rocks similar to what you find in the sculpture. These were sedimentary rocks that I didn't know existed there originally, but I learned about them. And they were not indigenous to the area. The bedrock of that area is a very kind of hard granite. And these sedimentary rocks were a different kind of rock that was when you quarried it and you put a hole into a mountain and blow it apart, these rocks come off in layers. And I immediately saw the possibility of these flat layers being used in building. Anybody in, in any building, not even artists, buildings are all built with flat layers of bricks or stone or cement or whatever it may be. They're always flat layers. These flat layers came to me free, you know, by God, God created them for us by hitting a rock with a sledgehammer. It broke up into layers. And then I could use these layers to build on and create sculptures such as this. Fantastic. We see your art all over the city. Hardly so, all over the city, well, but there's it's a few many, places. many, many places. The, the Jewish General Hospitals, the schools, yeah. all over the place. Well, there are 17 in all now. It's yeah. wonderful. So tell me, what gave you this idea of building this whole portfolio and spreading it around our beautiful city? Well, I have to give credit to other people now. Uh, Sherry Goldstein was, <laughs> was a patient of mine many years ago, and she saw pictures of my work on the wall. And she said, you know, do you mind if I show these pictures to some other people? And she began showing them around, and she got some positive responses from these people. And uh, by getting these positive responses, we realized that we had something that could be of interest to communities outside of my community around my country place. And she began showing these pictures to other people, and, and she met with other people, told them all about my work, my background, my history in dentistry, et cetera, et cetera, the relationship between dentistry and the work I was doing. Here on a minute scale, I did minute things in dentistry, which brought me some fame in dentistry. Now I'm trying to bring this same kind of skill on a larger scale to this work. And she began talking about it. 
And by the time she got through talking about it, people would give me an interview. She spoke to you guys here before I even knew you existed. And I got an interview with some of the people here. I even Great. spoke to a community here. And uh, I was able to make my point and get the invitation to place a, a sculpture here. Fantastic. Which to me was a challenge because, again, as I said, I like a little challenge. And I felt I'd reached a point with my work where I could afford the challenge of placing my work outside where it could be viewed by the public and let the public decide whether it's good or not. Every individual that goes by that sculpture becomes a critic. Right. That's fine, I accept that. But if we look at the placement of this sculpture, it's really amazing. I mean, it's probably one of the best placements you've probably found for any of your sculptures. Exactly. This is ideal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You see, why did I come <laughs> to Cote St. Luke? Yeah. I love Cote St. Luke. I know a lot of people in Cote St. Luke, but when Sherry brought me up here and I met Janine and we walked through here and I looked at it and I said, wow, this is quite a garden, quite a, a green space, quite a community where you tie the city hall, the library, and the green space behind it all in one. And I said, if I can get something in here, I think it would really be an achievement. Yeah. And that's what happened. Well, thank you so much for your donation of this work that will be with us forever and we'll always cherish it. So thank really, you. we appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate your interest in it. And uh, I think we're all the beneficiaries of this happening. If you enjoy it, it's wonderful. And the fact that you enjoy it makes it more wonderful for me. Thank you. So guys, when you remember, when you're coming out to Ashkelon Gardens and you see the sculpture called Reliance, remember what the message is, that together we build a wonderful community. And it's thanks to Dr. Harry Rosen that we'll have this with us forever. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.